How do you feel about everything that you say and do is documented? I mean, it's cool. Like, I, I don't... I don't take myself so serious, so I don't care if, if, if people take everything that I'm doing, you know, serious. Like, I enjoy myself at some point, so... Like, like when, when do you just... Do you just relax? Like, if, if I say something on Instagram, like everyone else does, at least, and now people communicate through photographs, mm -hmm. and they, they actually would make their comments, genuine comments back and forth, so you can identify with, with what their thoughts are, how their day is going by looking at the things that they, you know, they're posting, and then if, if I'm not having a good day and you say something, am I not okay? I know there's no sympathy for winners, so whenever you see someone in a position that you feel like is, is doing well, then you go, whenever something goes bad, they go good for them because they don't feel like that person's not bearing the same pressures that their parent, but it's always a different pressure. Do you feel that, do you feel like you're petty at times? Well, people like to use the word petty. Most petty people use the word petty. That, that are so common with it. Like, you're you so, do you think you're petty? Oh, you're so petty. Petty like that, or savage. That is actually, yeah, those people savage, are petty. Yeah. The people that utilize those words right. are usually the real petty people. Like, if, when they say, my sense of humor, am I not allowed to have a sense of humor? You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because I, I can keep it straight business and, and yeah. don't really offer anything for entertainment purposes for the masses and just li leave that feed. Let, let Instagram, let social media be uh, just representation of what I'm doing for the day and not who I am. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, your personality, your characters. But the reason why people follow you or they get begin to enjoy you, they start to feel like they know you personally when they can see things consistently. And then when I laugh at something or people see it and they go, yo, like that's, that's crazy. Or they, they agree with me, it's funny. Then they become closer to me as an artist. So you go back and forth sometimes with your in your comments. Sometimes, like I usually don't really look, look at my comments until like Saturday evening, mm -hmm. like after twelve o'clock, because the show would right. have aired at that right. point, and I want to see how you know how they respond, like what their response is, because a lot of like even when I go to do in stores, like today I was in, I went to a store in D.C. Well, Baltimore, I was in Maryland, and um. When I was out there, like the, the demo's older, like people come out there a little more older, and, and it's, it's like it's the power of film and television, or people who have come across me over the years that are a little—they're not 21, just made the legal drinking age and at the nightclub. Right. Tonight, their life is more established, and that because they've grown to the point that they would make the purchase and put the the liquor in the cabinet and then just have a drink when the occasion came. You know, it's it's convenient for them to go to come meet me at the liquor store. That's a a genius marketing idea. Yeah. Nobody else has done that. So congratulations, sir. How how big are the effing checks now? Because they're doing great. They're doing great. <laughs> it's the fastest growing premium. Puffy called me little last year. You don't call me little no more. You don't call you little no you more. You don't call me little no more. You back? You better. Yeah. He won't even say anything because it's getting scary. <laughs>